functions are the principal objects of study in calculus. We are going to be spending a lot of time with them. So think back, remember when you learned about functions in pre-calculus or before then, let's recall a few familiar classes of functions and then get a preview of some others that maybe we have not yet met. So think back, think way back to when you first learned about polynomials. These are comprised of monomial terms, either constant, linear, quadratic, cubic. The degree of a polynomial is the maximal monomial term power. Now you've seen these, you know what they look like. They are all over the place in your mathematics background, and they're all over the place in the world. These are going to form the literal basis for the story that we're going to tell. But wait, there's more. Polynomials can't do everything. And there are other classes of functions with which we're going to get a lot of work done. Think back. Think way back to when you learned about the basic trigonometric functions. Functions like sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. What are these guys? Well, you know sine and cosine, the basic periodic functions so useful. If you take their reciprocals, then you get the cosecant and secant functions respectively. They're a little bit more dangerous to work with. If you take the ratios of these, sine over cosine, you get tangent. The reciprocal of that, cosine over sine, you get cotangent. These basic trig functions, oh, we're going to use them over and over again. However, neither the polynomial functions nor the trigonometric functions complete our story. They do not cover everything. In fact, they're not even the most important player in our story. That comes next. <laughs>